Hey, Nick Martinez, the Keto Dad here, and we are gonna make peanut butter cookies that are good for you, right? I have this cookbook called The Wild Diet Cookbook, one of my favorites. If you don't have it, definitely get it. It's not necessarily a high fat, low carb. It's more of a real food cookbook. It's fantastic. I really enjoy it. And this peanut butter chocolate chunk cookie recipe is something that uh, that's good for you, good for your kids. It doesn't have a lot of like uh, blood sugar spiking ingredients and it's really fun to make. So we're gonna start with one egg and we're gonna beat this egg together with a half teaspoon of baking soda. This is kind of like the key to this recipe. It actually gets the egg and the baking soda get really frothy and gets it all whipped up and ready for the peanut butter. Now that the eggs are all frothy, I'm gonna put in a half teaspoon of vanilla, and then I'm gonna add my coconut palm sugar. Now, if you are looking for a truly like low carb cookie, this does have some carbohydrates in it. I think that it's pretty good. It doesn't spike your blood sugar that much and it tastes amazing, but if you wanna use something different, use Swerve, and it has uh, like no carbs in it, and it's a great sugar replacement. So I'm gonna beat this together, or, or whip this sugar in. Next we're gonna add a pinch of uh, Celtic sea salt. We're gonna add in our peanut butter. And now we're gonna mix this on low until our thick dough forms. Now one thing I've learned from this recipe is you don't wanna beat over mix this. If you over mix it, it'll get really crumbly and it won't stay together. I've made that mistake a few times. All right, we got our peanut butter, here we go. Ooh. Yeah, uh, um, look at that coming together. This is gonna be delicious. We're all beat together. I'm gonna add our chocolate chips. The best kind to get are the dark chocolate, so they don't have extra sugar or anything like that in them. Like the 60%, 80% cacao. Now we're just gonna mix those in, and we have our cookies almost ready to go. Look at this beautiful dough for our peanut butter and chocolate cookies. They're almost like a Reese's, they're so good. We're gonna make little balls, we're gonna put them down, and we're actually gonna smash them into like peanut butter style cookies, and they're gonna be incredible. I've got some parchment paper down so they don't stick. It'll crisp up real nice. We've pushed out all the cookies. We actually are gonna freeze some of these because I like to make them fresh. So these are gonna go in the freezer, they can come out in little packs of three or four, and it's, boom, 10 minutes, you have yourself fresh baked cookies. These four are for right now, there's four of us, and we each want one before dinner, kind of as a little snack. We're gonna go ahead and throw them in the oven for 12 minutes at 350 degrees, and we're gonna have ourselves some wonderful peanut butter cookies. The cookies have cooled down for just a minute now, and I have one for me and one for Keto Cali here. Oh, you get this one. All right, here's the taste test of the peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Mmm. What do you think, Kelly? Are they yummy? You like them? I'd say they're absolutely delicious. Peanut butter cookies that are healthified and can be low carb if you choose for them to be. Check out the recipe below. Share this video so that you have it on your timeline for later and have an awesome night.